And we're back with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video and we're gonna play in the fleet arena because the fleet arena is very important for getting those Zetas. And if you don't know, Zetas are what make certain heroes awesome like Maul, Vader, Barris, and so on and so on, Boba Fett. And so we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna play in a battle and then I'll just go over my roster and why I did it the way I did it. Let's just get into it right now and hopefully I can place number one today. I don't know where I am. I've got about an hour, not quite an hour, maybe like 45 minutes or so left in my fleet arena so that I can finish and we're going to start off at 13 and we're going to work up to the number one slot hopefully because I got 41 minutes and boy. I do not want to go up against the number nine guy. Boy, I, I played him and I, I'll lose that one there. So let's go after number 10. That's a little bit easier. Boy, that Tarkin, boy, that's a great team right there. All right, so I'm just gonna play and then after I play this first round, I kind of explain how I went about building my team. And I do like that I added Thai Pilot to it. And what I'm trying to do is this team right here does not have bigs, so it doesn't really matter who I target. But if other team had bigs, I would go for that first. Now, I'm not going to use his special ability. I'm going to use his basic and hopefully get target lock. If I can get target lock, let's see. Yeah, I got target lock. That's great. So now that I've got target lock, I've got the taunt. Now I'm going to start getting the protection constantly. I think bigs for my team is the best ship by far. And I'm gonna do the special attack and hopefully I get two people there. Okay, I got two people there with uh, positive status effects. Let's throw that over here on Plo Kloon's ship and we'll put target lock over there. And look at that, more tar look at more health comes back up. Now this is awesome. Uh, let's see, oh man, I'm still gonna do it. I am going to do the special attack because it's gonna be giving protection Hopefully, yeah, to my big ship. And I just want my big ship to be getting, look at, protection constantly. Look at that, 30,000. Oh, I don't know why it's that high. Same thing, I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna bring in an assist. I'm gonna bring in my bigs. More protection. Just constantly gaining protection. And if I do it right, if I get lucky, I won't lose any ships. We'll see if that happens or not. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to, I'm going to throw that attack over there because I want to keep the taunt up on fives. Let's see here. All right, now I'm just going to do my my super attack right there. Why not? Keep going. I'm going to try to take out. Oof. All right, we're going to do basic attack. Oh, boy. Well, we're going to throw more target lock. Look at this. <laughs> Even more. See now, the the ship that's got taunt right now has crit chance immunity and all kinds of silliness. I think it's kind of a waste. This is the only time I'll use this. I'll, I'll throw that on Biggs to give him some protection back. Oh, look at this. Uh, I'll dispel all of the positive status effects. Look, I've got target lock everywhere, and that's because of Darth Vader's lead, which is awesome. Basically, it doesn't expire. And who do I want to take out? I think I want to start pinging on this guy over here. He looks like he's the weakest. Boy, I'm kind of spread thin though. Normally I try to focus on one and take them out, but that has not been happening. I could have right there. Oh boy, look at this. All right, let's get rid of this uh, taunt and critical damage immunity or can't be critted, I guess. And let's see, we're just gonna try to gotta get rid of one of these ships. My goodness, we're spreading the damage around way too much. Oh, double attack. Oh, maybe we'll get my first kill. Yeah! One down. Oh, we got taunt up again. Boy, he keeps taunting over and over again. Uh-oh. All right, so now they have damage immunity, which is kind of terrible. So I won't attack. What I'll do is I'll use that so everybody gets advantage. That might also be a waste. Ooh, not so good. Hmm. Oh, cool. That gets rid of uh, all the positive status effects. Fives is so good on this team right here. All right, let's go. Take them down. Get close. Get close. Reinforcements. All right. Oh, no, don't die. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, boy. 
Ooh, I finally, finally lost my bigs. All right, so I'm going to be able to hit three people right now. This is good. Let's see. Boom! Look at all that damage. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to bring in Genosian Soldier. I'm just going to do a normal attack. Okay. And let's uh, take out the Clone Sergeant. And as soon as I'm done with this battle, I'll kind of go over why I'm using what and why I like each hero. And it's a little bit simpler than people realize uh, why I picked out the team I did. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to do his uh, ultimate special ability. And hopefully I can take out most of the team right now. When we want to get target lock. Let's throw Darth Vader in there. Okay, target lock. And let's bring in... Um, all right. That's going away. All right, double attack over here. All right, and that should eliminate him right there. Cool. And we're going to focus on the back guy. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at this. No, it's a little bit too late for that. All right. We're going to get three attacks on him right now okay so we're gonna go into the roster and I'll explain why I used who I used and I just want to say that mostly it came down to what heroes did I have that were maxed out so I went into the available inventory right here and who did I have maxed out who did I have at gear 9 gear 10 gear 11 and those were the ships that I developed out so Biggs and Wedge, I was using my squad arena team for a long time, and they were both at gear 11, so those were no-brainers. Those ships are very easy to farm. You can get them in the Galactic War shop, and that's where I got most of my shards, were right there in the Galactic War store, and I pretty much just stopped farming everything in the Galactic War and trying to max out as many of these ships as possible. Biggs is just the best ship in the game, and it has to do with this ability right here. Biggs X-Wing recovers 35 protection and taunts for one turn whenever he becomes target lock. So then I started focusing on target lock. Now I got lucky and I was able to get Darth Vader back in those squad tournaments that they no longer do. And the reason why Darth Vader is important to this team is that he deals target lock for two turns. And then his unique ability, basically target enemies have 20% turnicity and immediately regain target lock for two turns. So basically the target lock doesn't go away. Fives also helps fuel the target lock, like this ability right here. And I only have, I think, believe fives at gear eight or nine. I have nine, and it seems to be working fine. But basically, when they have target lock on them, if he hits them, he dispels all their positive status effects. His special ability does mega damage if there's a ton of people that have target locks. Oh, man, it's great. That's what they're here. Flick target lock for two turns on target enemy. Can't be resisted then deal physical damage to each target locked enemy. This attack deals 20% damage for each target locked enemy. Now I've had times where I've hit all five, boom, and they all just die. It's pretty cool. Now, if the TIE pilot doesn't inflict target lock first, because TIE pilot usually goes first and his regular attack has a 70% chance to inflict target lock, I will use five special ability. But if the TIE Fighter does not inflict target lock. I will throw it on there with five. So that's just RNG. So these all were pretty easy to get except for Darth Vader. Genosin Soldier is in my backup. He does mega damage with his double attacks. Ahsoka dispels. Probably my weakest ship. I would replace her first. And then the lastly, Jedi Counselor. He's just a beast. Double attack. All the time is good, and I only have Jedi Counselor at gear 9. If I took him up to gear 11, I believe this ship has one of the highest powers in the game if I can get Jedi Counselor up to gear 11. And I'm not really focusing on it now because I can place in the top 10, and then if I stop placing in the top 10, then I'm going to focus on it more. But for right now, I'm happy with it. Now, the only ship that I wish I had is Boba Fett's, and the reason I wish I had the Slave 1 is that I have my Boba Fett at gear 11 so I don't know if I need to do that if I like started getting lower and lower and wasn't competitive in the fleet arena I might go out and get the slave one slave one also is a dark side ship It's important to get past the those missions so that you can unlock the Zeta farming for every day and it's amazing between getting the shards every day and 
the missions every week. It seems like I'm getting a Zeta about every two, three weeks. And I have enough Zetas for the heroes that I have maxed out. I'm only putting Zetas on heroes that I maxed out. And right now I don't have any heroes to even put Zetas on. And so like I have some Zetas saved up and I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. I'll use them probably when I get Maul up and going. Okay, let's go do another round and let's see how that goes. And so, oh, we got it. We'll do it right now in 20 seconds. And I, I'm going to go up against the number six. And the reason why I use Akbar was just because I had him high gear and I ended up gearing him out to 11. So if you have Mace or Tarkin or Akbar, just pick one of the three that you have the highest gearing on it and go from there. Because it's all about gear on the way that the power is derived for the ship. So let's go and do the number six battle. Let's see if this this team has bigs. We're gonna target bigs right off the beginning. And yes, there's bigs right there. So we're gonna target bigs now. Let's see if I get target lock right here. Didn't get target lock. Okay, so this is bad. So now normally if I did get target lock, I would have just used five's basic attack, but because I didn't, I will use his special attack. And that should help Darth Vader stay alive a little bit longer. Okay, so now I use this ability right here because it has target lock and I'll get an assist. And, ooh, that's kind of bad. Uh, I'll explain why that's bad because I wanted to have two enemies, or two of my ships have positive status effects for the special attack that's coming up here in a moment. And the only one that'll have the special, the, the positive status effect is Biggs. I'm still going to do that. It's kind of a waste. Typically, you only want to use that if two of your guys have positive status effects but I thought that was okay because uh, I want as much protection on Biggs. Same thing right here. I'm going to bring in Biggs as the assist so I can get more protection. Look at that. Just protection protection protection. I'm going to keep going. Hopefully I can keep it going through this. Alright let's try to take out Darth Vader's ship and then right here we want to get protection on Biggs so I'm going to use the basic attack look at that 18,000 Woof Oh, I lost my Darth Vader ship. Oh, this is tricky now. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to bring in Genosin Soldier, and I'm going to target Darth Vader. He does more damage because of the target lock. All right, we got rid of Darth Vader's ship, and, oh, boy, I don't ever know what to do. I go, I'm go. i going to go after the First Order. Seems like the regular TIE pilot just dodges and dodges and dodges. It's kind of annoying, actually. Oh, stay alive a little longer. All right. All right, and now I will go after the Genosin Soldier after this. Oh, okay, we're going to heal up. So we're going to put that on my bigs, get rid of all those negative status effects, and we're going to keep going. Oh, boy, I don't like that. Hmm, what do I do here? I'm uh, Because of that protection, the protection will probably go away. All right, so now we're going to do it. This should take him out one hit. Almost! All right, we got one ship left. Oh boy. Protection up. This is going to take a minute to knock him out. And he's going to probably call in another ship. Let's see. Can we get it? Ooh, I think I can put this on autoplay. Oh, look at all that extra protection. Terrible. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh. All right. Well, hmm. Let's just do a basic attack. So he's going to get two hits. There we go. We got it. Yay. Okay. So that'll put me in the number six seed. And we will be back in a moment to go after, I guess, probably the number three. All right, let's do round three. We're going to play against the number three spot. And we're going to go in and do this again. Hopefully this goes well. And I just got back from seeing the movie Ghost in the Shell. And it was a good movie. I'm glad they made it. But, boy, that was like one of my favorite animations when I was a kid. And it they kind of ruined it, actually. Oh, that's not good. I didn't get target lock on bigs, and my bigs went before fives, so I have to just do a basic attack. Oh, I don't like this at all. All right, well, let's see here. I will still do this because it will give protection to bigs because he has a positive status effect, so he will assist. Oh, yeah. Um, now, see, this is always tricky. I don't know what to do. I, I don't really feel like splitting up the target lock. I will take it right now. I got to get rid of theirs quickly, man. 
Got to get rid of their bigs, because their bigs is going to do the same thing as mine, unless I can get it down. Oh, two assist attack right here. Come on. Cool, got rid of him. All right, now let's focus on... Hmm. See, I normally would go after Darth Vader, but because he's got all the protection, I'm going to go after Boba Fett. And, yeah, look at that. More protection. Ooh. Oh, that's going to hurt. Nope. All right. Oh, boy. I need to get rid of all those DOTs. Um, hmm. No, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a basic attack because I, I want to take out Boba Fett. Oh, please don't come back to life. Oh, look at that taunt. You jerk. Hmm. All right. Let's just keep going. All right, here. We, there we got rid of the slave one. Okay, we got to take care of uh, this guy right here because this is what? Sun pack? And he will just like randomly taunt all the time. So you're kind of forced to get rid of him. All right, I got to do this. I got to get rid of all that stuff. It's just... Uh, plus I can use the protection. All right. There's the taunt back. Look at that. He's still alive. He's probably going to die here shortly. That's all I can do right there. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, I got the ability block. Cool. All right. Oh, stay alive. Boy. TIE Pilot usually s survives the whole thing. Uh, you know, because he gets all that foresight all the time. Oh, look at that. Not good. Come on, go down. Almost got gotcha. you. Reinforcement coming in. Oh, no. Please stay alive. No, no. Terrible. Hmm. We got to bring in a reinforcement. That's the only thing we can do right there. All right, just a basic attack. All right, now we're going to go after Darth Vader's ship. Darth Vader's ship seems usually kind of easy to take down, actually. Go away. Almost got gotcha. you. Oh, they're going to revive him a little bit. All right, stay alive. Don't lose any ships. Whoa, no, this is bad. All right, let's do it. Oh, cool. And then we can we'll throw the target lock over here. Almost got Darth Vader's ship. Darth Vader's ship will be going down now. Huh, do I want to split this target lock up? Not really. All right. Oh, man. I don't know. Boy, this is tricky. Ooh, I'm going to dispel that right here with this Darth Vader's ability because there's target lock. I'm going to get rid of his uh, Akbar ability. Oh, that's great. And, hmm, I wonder if Fives is going to go before Jedi Counselor. Let's see if he does. If Fives goes before Jedi Counselor, that'd be awesome. Oh, uh, let's see. This will get rid of Five ship right here. Watch this. This probably do like 100,000 damage. Watch this. Boom! 81,000! Oh, look at that. So lucky that I put target lock there with Darth Vader's ship on Jedi Counselor. Now, Fives will dispel all those positive effects. Goodbye! So he doesn't get to attack twice. Ha 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 ha! That was awesome. That worked out pretty well. This is going to be a close one, boys. Uh, my st oh, no positive status effects. Ah, oh, great. All right. We're just going to do basic attack then. Please, please live, please live. This is going to be a close one. Thank goodness for 4x speed. My goodness. Hmm. Okay. Soka. Oh, boy. Let's see. Let's just do this. No, we just got to take out a ship. Yeah, we're going to go with safe. Soka's ship is usually more fragile than Genosian soldiers. Oh, come on. Boy, what a waste. I, I, won't, I don't want to do that. All right, let's uh, just do a basic attack. I don't have any positive status effects up, so that doesn't help me much. Come on. Ooh, there we go. Almost got him. All right. Oh, two to one. Oh, boy. Dodge. Oh, don't dodge. Don't dodge. Cool. And, oh, boy, how often does that happen where you get to do... Akbar's ultimate ability twice. All right. And so we're going to do more, one more round after this. We'll, we'll make an attempt for the number one slot. And let's see we, where we are as far as the rest of the day. 15 minutes. Boy, this is going to turn out perfectly. Hopefully, we'll hit the number one slot. 
So we'll be back in four minutes. All right, let's do the number one slot. Now, I will say that I never spend money on refreshes on the fleet. It's just not worth it because the prizes are pretty level. So even if I get sniped and I get put back to like two, three, four, five, you know, that the max reward is 1,800 and I'm okay with getting anything over 1,500 is fine with me. So we'll make an attempt for number one. I actually find that number two is the best spot to stay in overnight. Uh, everybody seems to snipe the number one slot, but if I stay in number two, people will leave me alone. It's less work the next day. But for this video, I want to do number one, just to show you guys it's possible. But uh, actually, no, most of the time I would take the number two slot, just so that everybody leaves me alone tomorrow. Okay, let's go and do this. Oh, your opponent is already engaged in battle. I'll hit refresh a bunch of times and I'll be back when I get into a battle. Okay, I think I can go after the number one. Uh, the number four took the number one guy out. Boy, poor guy. Hopefully I can beat this guy. This is actually kind of a hard battle right here. We're gonna do it for the number one slot. Let's go into battle right now. Yay. All right, let's see which, I've actually had some difficulty. He's got some really nice ships in here. All right, let's go after Biggs, for, of course, first, and we're going to do basic attack. Boy, it didn't trigger target lock, so now we're going to use that with fives. All right, double attack, cool. Somebody else will get protection up, and then when Akbar turn, I'm going to be able to hit with both fives and Biggs, and Biggs will get the protection, so this is a good start. All right, oh, we got to take out Biggs sooner. Oh, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go away, dude. All right, cool. So, what's going on? Oh, I see what happened. Oh, boy, ah, this is this is gonna be a trick right here. He, I have to attack him, and he's got retribution. Everybody else has got stealth. Um, hmm. Let's do it this way. Oh boy, my Biggs is taking a beating right now. All right, let's get rid of all the. Actually, let's um, throw target lock on this guy back here. No, oh, that's not good. Oh, oh my goodness! Can you say bu boy? He's gone. All right, let's see if we can take out the first order type pilot in the back right here. Cool, very good. And oh, we can get rid of all of that stuff right there. We're gonna just keep going. All right. Oh boy, we gotta hurry. We're running out of time. Um, I actually need to finish before the timer right here. It says five minutes and 55 seconds, but I'm looking at my clock here. I probably got closer to four minutes left. All right, let's go after the scimitar back there. All right, very good. Boy, I hate targeting that guy. I hate it. He's going to dodge. This is so annoying. Watch this. Ah, it did connect. I just feeling this is going to dodge. Watch. Dodge. And then I dodge. Okay, so we'll go after Wedge. Um, let's do basic attack. Ah, oh, reinforcement coming in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, look at all that protection right there. Hmm, I don't know what to do. He's going to dodge this. I know he's going to dodge it. Let's see if we get lucky. Yeah, he dodges. All right. Ooh, look at this. I'm going to get all three right here. Boom! <laughs> that makes me very happy. All right, so <laughs> this is kind of funny. I kind of want to protect my position right here, and there's no rush. Obviously, I'm going to win, and I'm looking at my clock right here, and I'm about three minutes away from the payout, so I can stall for about a minute. So I'm going to fast forward a minute. I'm going to stall for a minute, and we'll be right back. All right, we've got two minutes to pay out, and so we're going to attack. And finish this off. Oh, we can do this probably in one hit. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's just see if this finishes it off. Probably will. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to slow down for about another minute. So I'm going to wait for another minute or so, and we'll be right back. Okay, one minute to pay out. So I'm going to finish this battle off. And it's done. And so that'll put me at number one. Crease from three to one. I actually, in all fairness, I like getting two just as much. 
We've got 41 seconds left, and I will get the rewards, and I'll show you that in just a moment. All right, looks like we got the payout. Let's see if we get number one. Yeah, rank number one. We'll collect that, and we'll go into the store, and we go into ships, into the fleet store, and we have 2,100, and we will buy one of these Zetas. And it looks like I've got 14, so I've already Zated three heroes out, and so now I'll have 15 out of 20 to get my fourth one, although I don't have it here already to do. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, down in the comment section, if you have any ideas for videos, I read them all. I don't respond to all the comments, but I do read them, and I typically do get my video ideas from you guys. I'm thinking about doing a mods video. Uh, but most of all, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching, liking the video, and always keep on gaming.